getting on float plane here in Normal Wells, got an hour ride into camp and starting to sink in a little bit. We're here at the base of some big mountains. There goes the ride. And those sheep are exactly where we left them last night. We just smoked a dog sheep sign at a hundred and some yards. Well, right now I'm trying to hide this new prototype from all these guys that are going into camp with us. Matthews does this to me every year, I'm not complaining, but I'm trying to keep this thing a secret. And I'm hunting with 14 other people in camp. So, you probably think I'm a jerk right now, I'm trying to be anti-social. Anyway, getting on float plane here in Normal Wells, got an hour of ride into camp and starting to sink in a little bit. Yeah, I hate float planes. Everything in the 80 is good and the 90 and 100 is about three inches high. Just cut a half yard and better eat. It is almost nine o'clock at night and uh, we're waiting on the helicopter ride still. So don't get dark till about 11. We're hoping he gets here in time to get us both out. Uh, we gotta wait 12 hours before we can hunt. So when we land in camp, we gotta wait 12 hours. So it'll be late tomorrow morning before we can actually start hunting. Here we go. the ride. We're here just before dark at the base of some big mountains. And we got a lot of gear to sort before dark so we're gonna get to it. Alright guys leaving camp. First morning to hunt. We had to wait 12 hours after we landed in the chopper. We're just now leaving camp. We're gonna hike down this valley we can look back up into this big basin and hopefully find some rams to go after. Yeah. There they are, down the well. As you can tell, it looks a little different than it did about an hour and a half ago. But it's clearing up now. We found the rams again bedded right at the base of a big cliff. So it just now lifted. So hopefully it stays that way. It's going to be sketchy, but we got to get to the base of that mountain around here. And then come in underneath them. Got a good wind. I just wish the sun would go behind a cloud or something. We gotta move, they're on the move, coming down. Yeah, yeah, you did break Okay. We just walked right up on a big race like I spooked all around. I mean face to face with a big race. Broke the camera. We're trying to get out of them willows. Second big grizzly we have saw today, but that one was face to face. And luckily for us, only one of the rams got a little spooked. And then they calmed right back down. And they're still right in the same place, but we're running out of light. So we're going to head back to camp, try to piece this camera back together. So, what do you think, dude? I'm getting the full Northwest Territories experience, that's for sure. I hope that's the last grizzly we see. Holy moly. Is there water left in that? Uh, no. 
This is like you said you pasty. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. <laughs> Just getting up. We gotta go find the sheep. I'm gonna hike down the valley here and see if we can see back up in this big basin. We just got down here at the bottom of the drainage. Popped up over this hill. And those sheep are exactly where we left them last night. Unbelievable. We're moving in. We're keeping this big ridge between us. We're gonna try to get closer and not be super aggressive yet. Kinda clipped out right now. We're about 50, 160 yards from the big ram. We just want the giant off you. <laughs> 105 line of sight, cut four yards. First animal with the VXR, and I'd say it did its job. It worked, buddy. Thank you. This has got to be the greatest feeling in bow hunting right here. I mean, a monster ram. Way past full curl. Look at that. This is the same ram we were coming after yesterday. Big, long, way past full curl on this side, and then broomed off on this side. My first animal with the new Matthews. I'm so proud of this. As a bow hunter, you know, a sheep hunt is, is about as tough as it gets. For everything to come together and do a ride, it's pretty special. I just broke his camera running. Funny now, was it funny then? The bear come out the bottom of the drainage. You know? Second big grizzly we saw today, but that one was face to face. All right, guys, we are loaded up, heavy packed. That's the way you like them. All right, nobody break an ankle, please.